the ambitions of Balanced View are to spread this training all over the world, have centres all over the world. Now, if I could knit centres or create them out of thin air, then we would, but it, it, requires, it requires support. And the way this, this training uh, gets the support financially and with people is by people, just like you, if you're brand new, just testing the suggestions of, of what's, what's, what's on offer here. And I'll explain what that is in a bit. And seeing what happens in your experience. So in my experience, after 30 years of trying many, many practices and treatments in order to not feel depressed, not have panic attacks, lose weight, Um, you know, all of the things that I needed to, to, to be in place for me to be happy um, and not having any success and spending tens if not hundreds of thousands of pounds on these things that don't work. They provide some relief, but in terms of ultimate well-being, my experience is that I was still depressed, I was still fat, I was still miserable, I'm getting older, I can't do certain things that I used to do for relief because I'm too unfit, you know, all of these things. So when I came to this training, I was lovingly given a very simple set of instructions and said, do you want, you know, test these and see what happens? And it can, this had a sort of knowing smile that really annoyed me because it was like, she, she, she knows that it's going to work sort of thing. And I was convinced that it's not going to work. I thought this was just a load of rubbish and lots of smiling people. It was like a bit, Ugh, what is this place? And um, so I found it very, very afflictive when I came. So it's, you know, it's very important just to firstly test what we're suggesting here. So this is why we're here for this four days and see what happens in your own experience. And then from that, do you want to support this amazing movement? I mean, I'd give everything I, I, I have to, to um, allow other people to have the privilege to, to basically stop treating yourself like a prisoner of war, you know, beating yourself up day after day after day. I don't measure up. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough because I'm depressed. I'm not good enough because I'm fat. My psychiatrist tells me this, and, and the reason this is all, 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 all like this is because my parents treated me this way. You know, like, so we, we have hundreds of people that prove to us how we don't measure up. You know, so it's all very, very negative for our entire lives, mainly. We focus on what does not work. Have you ever read a book about how your parents are to blame for your happiness? You know, why when you're happy, why isn't that your parents' fault? It's just, you see, it's just, we're, we're so, we just, we've just been fed a complete tissue of lies. We are amazing, we are totally incredible, and the evidence of that incredibleness is our own emotions, our own thoughts, our own feelings, especially if they're negative. My, what is he talking about? So you see, in, all, in order for that to become your reality, it has to be your experience. So this training is about your experience. It's about your experience of implementing the simple suggestions that we're going to talk about now. It was a bit of a long intro, wasn't it? So you heard Candice in the talk. She, she, she uh, gave you an instruction uh, in order to identify what we call open intelligence in this training. Just stop thinking. So we can all do that right now. And admittedly, it's, it's, it would be for a very short moment, but just stop thinking. Stop describing. Obviously, thoughts and sensations almost immediately come back. But in that brief moment when you stop thinking, what do you identify in your experience? So just do it again and stop thinking. And you might, the next thought might be, I can't stop thinking. How do I stop thinking? So stop, stop describing. Now th th there's an undeniable alertness and openness. It might be quite subtle, a presence, now, th this is what we call open intelligence in the training. It doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it whatever you like. So you already have it. You already have what we're talking about here. We're not giving it to you. You already have it. So the, the, the very simple practice of the Balance View training, the only practice is, is to recognize open intelligence for short moments, 
repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And what that means, and this is totally amazing, is that your emotions, your thoughts, your experiences, the people, the places and the things in your life, they provide you with the opportunity to practice that simple instruction. So when, you, when depression comes up, you can stop and you can relax and acknowledge open intelligence for a short moment. It's not about holding open intelligence uh, in, in your attention field, because that's impossible. And then naturally the, the next thought will come, the depression might just come back, so then you take another short moment. Now we can do a fun experiment here, just to show you how difficult it is to hold things in place. So you may well have experiences in your life that, you know, oh my God, I've been depressed all day. Oh my God, I've had a headache all day. Oh my God, my boyfriend didn't shut up all day. But what, what you'll find is that that's impossible. You know, it's impossible to be depressed continuously. It's impossible to be happy continuously. So let's do our experiment. It's called the vegetable experiment. <laughs> okay, so this side of the room is the big red tomatoes. Your, you, you, this side is the big orange carrots, okay? And when I say go, you have to think of only a big red tomato, only a big uh, orange carrot, and see how long it is before another thought or sensation comes into your experience. And nobody is allowed to think of an aubergine. <laughs> if, you, if you think of an aubergine, you have to leave. Okay, so are you ready? So tomato, carrot, and, uh, and just see what happens. How long can you hold on to your vegetable? And you, you, you can't have, absolutely can't have carrots and you absolutely can't have tomatoes. Okay, so are you ready? So three, two, uh, your carrot, um, tomato, okay. Okay, go, go. It's, it's impossible. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, uh, uh, tomato, carrot, orange, aubergine, <laughs> leek, <laughs> pumpkins. Ugh. It's just, uh, and then, and then, and then there's a sensation, and I hear the sound, and 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 and, and the the dynamicness of the display. So, so your thoughts, your sensations, your emotions, everything. It's it, it's it's all it's all a, 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 an amazing flow. It's just seamless, completely seamless. You cannot hold on to your vegetable <laughs> without something coming almost immediately in. Now, the, the 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 ridiculous thing is, your depression, or whatever your pet negative data is, is no different to that imaginary vegetable. You, you the only reason you think it is very very powerful is because you've sat there thinking of a big red tomato for 40 years going, oh my God, it's a red tomato, what can I do? It's my parents' fault, oh my God, oh my God, I'm bad, I'm bad, it's, it's, it's my thousand past lives, that's why I can't get rid of this red tomato. But you see, all, all the while, there, there is nothing there. And th this applies to uh, your, your um, emotions, your thoughts, your hopes, your fears. They, don't, they do not have an independent nature. If they did, you could take them out in, and put them in a jar. This is Adrian's depression. You can't take the tomato out of, out of, your, out of your head and make pasta sauce. <laughs> I, I learned uh, something really amazing the other day in the, in the Italian open meeting that pasta alla rabbiata means angry pasta. <laughs> That's amazing. It's brilliant. My, for my entire life, I was eating angry pasta. <laughs> so, so, so that was just a, a, a just an introduction to um, no, just to, to how thoughts and emotions they flow on by effortlessly, and that you know you don't need to do anything. You can't hold on to anything. You can't get rid of anything. Nothing has an independent nature. So, if you're working on something. If you're working on, on what, what vegetable is appearing in your head, you're essentially working on, on something that has no independent nature. It does not exist in and of itself. And if you work on nothing, it's, it's a lot of effort. And you get no results, which is why it's just so frustrating. So, so, so that's a really simple practice. So you already have open intelligence. Now, thankfully, it's not just that stat practice. There's, we, we, we have trainings, and many of you today are, are, are participating maybe for the first time. 
and in the trainings we just share the language of open intelligence. It, it, it elicits the, the direct experience of what we're describing here. And what we're describing here is that you're, you are okay no matter what is going on in your experience. Then we have trainers, um, amazing trainers um, who are there just to support you in bringing this into your own experience. It's not about us uh, making you believe something, some new philosophy. It's, a, it's about you just testing what we suggest and testing and seeing what happens and we'll support you in that. So we, we only share our own experience. And I guarantee you there isn't one person in this room who w was, was more cynical than I am about this training. I point blank refused to believe it would work. Tee hee, the joke was on me because I just tested it almost with the, uh, with the motivation to prove that this training does not work. Okay, I'm going to test it. Short moment, short moment. Reading text, doing trainings, sitting at the back, really miserable, really angry. And, and, and even despite that, I, I, I just thought, wow, there is something about me that I, there's just simply gone unnoticed, that, that is, is totally okay, totally relaxed, very potent, very alert, and when I, when I emphasize this rather than the descriptions, I just become a much nicer person. I used to be so cynical, sarcastic, miserable. Oh, yeah, yeah. really makes me, it makes my skin crawl. A very negative person. And the reason that that was the case was because that was the only way I could get satisfaction was to drag people down, point out how miserable they should be as well. Made me feel a little bit better. So I simply tested the suggestions. And when I started, there weren't huge roomfuls of people. I mean, pretty soon there were, because this training, it really does work. It's, it, it, and, and again, that's, that's a bold claim, but the only reason you're gonna find out is to test in your own experience what happens when, A, you, you just practice that simple instruction. So I'm just gonna say it one more time. Short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become continuous. And just to emphasize, it really means, but essentially, whenever you remember, emphasize open intelligence rather than the data, rather than the descriptions. And so that's just one more term to clear up for you in, in the balance view training. Anything we can experience as human beings, we just term as, as data. So thoughts, emotions, sensations, people, places, and things. And, and, and this is another great power of this training, is, is the simplicity of the instruction. And what you'll start to see is that your life, everything about your life, is perfect for you to practice short moments. So, so what that means is your thoughts and emotions, they remind you to practice. So that right there, nothing needs to change. And then, and, then, and then just by simply allowing yourself just gently to test the support structures, what you'll find is there is no differentiation between your, the data, the thoughts and emotions and the sensations and the, 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 the um, expanse of potent ease that is open intelligence. They, they are equal, they are the same thing, an expanse of, e an expanse of equalness. And, and this, this uh, recognition, it, it never stops getting more and more potent. It never stops uh, deepening. So that's great. You've all, all, already got open intelligence and there's nowhere to get to. 